And then we wish good luck. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> All right, so for the past almost year now, I've been getting different makeovers by makeup artists in different cities as I've been traveling around the last 10 months. So currently I'm in Barcelona and I'm gonna be getting a makeover by a Barcelona makeup artist. I'm gonna have the playlist linked down below if you wanna watch past makeover videos I've done, but I have ones in New York, Boston, Austin, Texas. So all of those are linked down below. But the makeup artist's name is Sini. I'm gonna put in some of her work right here. She also does photography, so we're actually going to pop up onto the roof and take some photos after as well. I just really loved her style, both makeup and photography. So I think this should be really good. I always love to see how different makeup artists do makeup. It's so interesting. And I'm especially curious to see in different countries and just to see what products she uses and what brands. I'm so excited. So if you guys enjoy this video while you're watching and you want this series to continue, you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. If you're new here, my name's Taylor. I've been traveling around and living in different cities and countries for the last 10 months, documenting it all here on YouTube. So it's been sunny and beautiful every single day in Barcelona. Of course, today there's like what looks like a big storm coming and it's super dark outside. So apologies about the lighting here, doing the best we can with the situation. We're in my hotel room and you are currently on an ironing board. So keeping it, keeping it professional here. So. They don't <laughs> yeah. ever believe me. They say, you're so white. I'm like, no. Not next to her. <laughs> Literally, look, I matched the pillow right now. Okay, okay. ready? No, <laughs> I wouldn't okay. start so. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Simi. She's gonna be doing my makeup today. She's originally from Finland, living here in Barcelona. So yeah, I'm from Finland, and I moved to Barcelona like no, ten years ago. I don't oh, really. Yeah, no, yeah, it's been like ten years. Yeah, I've been always like really enthusiastic about makeup. I've been always like really huge fan of like glam transformations. I do mostly like photo shootings because I'm also a photographer. So basically I do the makeup, hair and also photos and also bridal and then shooting on the street or whatsoever like beauty shots. So of if course. you guys want makeup and photos when you're in Barcelona, I'll have her info down below if you want to check her out. <laughs> yeah, I normally do like combos. I have like mixed out. That's why normally people are like, oh, this is much more cheaper also because I'm doing everything. Doing both. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So starting off, Sini's using a toner to cleanse the skin and I'm going to have all the products that she used listed down below in the description box and she's actually gonna be going in with these like sticker pullback kind of clip things you'll see so do you keep these on yeah oh really to pull back the eyes I normally what I do I just put it here mm -hmm. and then I, when I do the eyes I will pull I really like the like the mm, look good. effect free Botox yeah exactly. <laughs> you are doing makeup on someone who is like going to an event would you use these or just no, her photos just okay her photos okay. so you're Antennas are ready. <laughs> but this We're is like from here. Delphi. I don't know if you know this brand. Oh, I thought it was a Dior. No, I don't know. Don't no, know. it's made, basically made in, Lo in London. Oh. In London. Uh -huh. Is it a high-end brand? Kind of like high-end, but not not like Dior. It's yeah. not that expensive. It's like, in between. It's like in between, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But the product looks like really luxury. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I like the packaging. Is it a primer serum or just a serum? It's a serum. Mm -hmm. And then I don't use primer mm -hmm. you just don't feel like they do that much no like sometimes maybe if someone has like really like oily skin and you want to blur that a little bit then i use it yeah like really small amount and then sometimes if you feel like extra luminosity then i have one but i don't know it's like i, I just feel that yeah yeah of course no you have to hold it this whole time <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have like funny day with the lights i know so using a makeup sponge, she is applying some eye cream to my under eyes and also prepped the skin with moisturizer. What's the main makeup brand in Finland? In Finland, mm -hmm. Lumene is a brand from Finland. What are the makeup shops here? I saw like, I know Douglas is in a few countries, right? Yeah. Douglas is here. I would say Sephora for me, but there is like lots of people, they buy in and Druni or Primor. Mm. Basically first I tried this foundation. This was I think the first product that I found from the brand. Medium coverage but really like moisturizing. Like really mm. like it doesn't, it doesn't show all the lines. You know? mm -hmm. It's like smoothing. Yeah. What's yeah. your all-time favorite foundation? This. Oh this one? Okay. Yeah. One. Every time I, I use it everyone's like oh my god Cindy, you look so flawless. Mm, it's one of those perfect. that... I was like yeah thank you. <laughs> How long have you been doing makeup? Almost like 11 years. Oh, something. really? Wow. And how long have you been doing like freelance makeup and photography? Freelance, I think that now like three, four years, I think. And you do it full time? Yeah. Nice. 
I mean, I did it before, but full time I started like, yeah, mm -hmm. enjoy like, you know, making people beautiful and, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and art. Like, I wanted to be a painter when I was small. Mm, cool. And kind of like everyone ruined my huge day. Like, no, you're not going to get paid. And then finally I found makeup. So I like that she's doing really thin layers with the foundation and literally only using like what's needed and really building up the product. Same with concealer underneath the eyes. This one is by Tarte and she's using a really small amount and then if she needs more, she goes back in to add it, but using really thin products. Do you start doing photography around the same time or did one come first? Um, I did it first, but then I leave it mm -hmm. and kind of like now, I think it's been like the same like four or five years. Which lashes do you have on right now? I'm gonna do my own lash brand. So these are kind oh, of- Oh, you like, are? Yeah. Oh, are those ones you're testing? Yeah. Oh, I love those. So these are because everyone, like I love them and everyone who I use these, they love them. So I can't buy them yet? No, oh, I know, I know, I'm like so interested. I don't want to give it to the people because yeah, they're so amazing. So it's also hard to find ones that aren't too long. Like those look like a good Yeah, thing. Yeah, that's why I hate the long yeah. lashes. Yeah. They don't look good on me. No, and they go like up to my eyebrow. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, and then I close like, your uh, eyeshadow. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's what's like the main idea with my... Mm. Yeah, I love With that. the lashes, like I don't, I want them to be like something you can use, like just drop them on and look good, and no one even noticed like yeah. you do because you know about that. Like people, like yeah, it's something. They almost just look like lash extensions. Yeah, or exactly. I actually couldn't tell if this was concealer or powder. I think it might be like a light loose powder, but she's applying a little bit to the center of my forehead and then at my chin, and around like the perimeter of my face. Oh, I love that stuff. One of my favorite products, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This stuff is amazing for just like a really natural looking highlight. Now that I'm thinking about it, she was probably using liquid concealer before because she's still going in with liquids right now. Yep, now she's doing powder underneath the eyes. It's not like I just edited this whole video or anything. <laughs> now she's doing powder and powdering on my nose. Yeah, Barcelona seems really friendly and... Yeah. But also because there's like many, many nationalities. Like yeah, it's from super many, international. Yeah. yeah, so there's like many countries in one. Mm -hmm. Like many friends from Latin America, like any mm -hmm. country basically. I think that you will get like, I think it's more like finding the place you feel com comfortable and I feel here like I'm home, so... I've had a few people tell me that. When I example, when I go to Finland, I miss here. Like I'm so mm -hmm. happy that I can come back. Come back. Oh, and, like I go okay. there happy, yeah. and I'm like, oh my god, I will go back to Barcelona. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's like the best feeling. Yeah. Yeah. She's using a supernatural shade for bronzer. I like the shade she used. It looks just like very subtle, going around my forehead and then going in with a little bit of blush. Which brand is this? Uh, this is Mesauda. Is it a? It's a Spanish brand. Italian. Italian. Oh. Yeah. So which language do you think in? In Spanish. Yeah. You do? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, because like when I came here, I was like learning Spanish for my, like in a, for, for myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, because everyone was like, no, you need to go take courses. It was like, I don't want to be meet the people from outside. I want to know mm -hmm. the people from here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't Learn want to go way. somewhere because afterwards I will speak English with them because yeah. they're from, I don't know, whatever Somewhere country. Else, yeah. yeah. So I was learning. And then I don't remember where I find it online or whatever. It's like, if you don't think in Spanish, you're not gonna never learn the other language. Mm -hmm. I started to kind of like force myself to think in Spanish, even though you cannot really, because there is like Finnish words coming out in your, yeah. because you don't have the words. So, yeah. but like little by little, you kind of like get there. And now when I go to Finland, it's like, you have to think what you're it's like, say. but mm -hmm. it's kind of like, feels like harder mm -hmm. than Spanish than, now. Yeah. That's so cool because that's that's like a sign too that you're like proficient in a language is like mm. when you can think and dream. And yeah, 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 exactly. So I wanted to do like this. I don't know if you can see her, but it doesn't matter. This one? This can be the thumbnail. Wow, I wish we had a photo of like all of us right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that it's good. That's <laughs> good. And then here. Yeah, and then we wish good luck. Okay, I think that it's good because if yeah, I'm gonna put more, like okay, it. it's super nice. Relax, you're free. Yeah. Can I nice. open my eyes? Oh, yeah, sorry. Open yeah. My eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's so high. funny because I used to have like a ton of freckles growing up. <laughs> now people all want them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm one of them. Yeah. Um, this is basically you can use like um, highlighter or highlighter. Eyeshadow. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's not your mind. <laughs> You're not my, my. Yeah. Like. 
Then using her finger to apply some powder highlight to my cheekbones. This one looks so pretty. Has like a kind of pinkish undertone. Oh, it goes <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Does it feel hollow, right? Like. Oh, yeah. It feels. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it feels, it definitely feels hollow. <laughs> it's there. Oh. oh, my God. I. Oh, heavens. I didn't put. Oh, heavens. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what you do with eyebrows because that's like that's the thing. I'm so curious how people do it different. <laughs> yeah, right? So she's going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and using a lighter shade than I normally use. And I've noticed this is one thing that most of the makeup artists have done is use like pretty light compared to my hair, but it ends up looking really good. And every time I'm like, oh, I should do that. And then I forget to order lighter shades. So when I'm going to, this is my note to myself. And she's very lightly, naturally kind of carving out my brows with concealer. Do people think you're Russian ever? No, they think that I'm from England. Oh, really? Or sometimes they say that I, I look like Russian, but I don't think that I look Russian. Fairy tale? Uh, yeah. Oh, like a, yeah, like yeah. a fairy. fairy? Yeah, 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 yeah you do. <laughs> or like a Disney princess. You could <laughs> yes, be like a Disney, yeah. right? <laughs> now you have your Halloween. Do they do Halloween here? No, no. Yeah. No, no, they it's don't, but I love Halloween. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. in Colombia with the costumes. When is it? October. October still? So, yeah, October oh, okay. 31st. Oh, still, okay, so same, same day as yeah, us, yeah. yeah. Finishing up the brows and then going in with an eye primer to prep for eyeshadow. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. No, seriously. Yeah, it's really good. Please come here. I'm yeah. thinking about it because I can I will live do your makeup right anyway. <laughs> 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 have a makeup artist. Yeah, <laughs> one year and then one year and now I have. Now turned into five. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but it's true. Like the palette she's using is by Huda Beauty. I'll have the exact one listed down below. Is it first time together? Our first time. Yeah. Wait, we haven't ever met before. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> no way! Oh, because you guys met on social media. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how long ago? Two years? Two years, yeah. Did you like video call and stuff? We have to like live together. Yeah, yeah this And true. video call. Wait, this is so interesting. <laughs> this is the first time you're meeting in your life. <laughs> So she's going in with a really pretty kind of like neutral, warm-ish brown shade. And I love the way that she blended my eyeshadow and the shape that she did. It looks really nice. And she's really like taking her time blending. And then she's using a black gel liner to kind of smudge that and line my top lash line. This is the Inglot gel liner, another really popular one a lot of makeup artists use. And she's kind of switching between a flat liner brush to smudge and a Q-tip and then putting on some mascara. Honestly, I'm like so picky like who I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. So if I'm with you, it's because I really so want it's to. It's an honor. Exactly. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> you should be honored. Honor. Oh my god. <laughs> I am honored. <laughs> this video is gonna be like four hours long. <laughs> and then you need to put like the uncutters, like uh, a special version. No, but I mean, like, you know, friendships and stuff. Like, there's people, mm -hmm. like, literally, that they're like waste of time, but because of their attitude. Like, I want to be there and we love each other or mm -hmm. we don't have anything. I know that it's yeah. extreme, but. No, I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think that people, I don't have people like negative and toxic yeah. people. I'd rather have like a few really good people in my life exactly. than like a bunch of people. I'm like, oh. my nails were white a couple mm -hmm. days ago, and then I dyed my hair, oh, and no. it turned into like this gross gray. <laughs> I'm like, that's why I need to oh go get them done so again. That's ugly. So I know <laughs> it is. And look up close. Look up close. And then putting on some false lashes. Also, we had literally three and a half hours of footage, and <laughs> we were just like chatting it up. So yeah, if the conversation's just like popping in and out, that's why. But it was a good time, we had fun. So because she's gonna be going in with a pop of color, I think what's happening here is she's applying a primer to my lower lash line to help that color pop. Then going in with this really pretty green shade and kind of building that up, she starts with just like a straight line across the base of my eyes and then she kind of flicks it out and creates this like bottom wing, which looks really cool. Continuing to blend that out and then adding a really subtle inner corner highlight. It looks like just a little bit of like a pearly white. And then she's using a similar color green in a gel liner and lining my waterline with a brush. If you're both on the same yeah. page about it, then it's yeah. good. Exactly, yeah. exactly. If you're both about you like the same thing, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. Like whenever I do eyeliner, I mm -hmm. use these like, mm -hmm. because I have like really hooded eyes. Mm -hmm. How do you call it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sticker maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stickers, like, yeah. Uh, like facial stickers. lip stickers. Yeah. Using a lash curler to blend the false lashes in with my natural lashes. Love the lashes that she used. These are coming out from her line eventually. 
Then lining my lips with a Charlotte Tilbury liner and then going in with a light nude shade and then she kind of blends these two together by using a brush. And then she's gonna add a completely clear gloss over top. Oh, that feels good. Then using a different setting spray for a glowy kind of body highlight. Then they're clipping back, pulling back the little stickers right now to pull back the eyes more and then putting my hair over top. How do I see that I should have done it like more darker your skin so? Because I see that you're really bronzed. Should we do again? <laughs> oh, no. Are you good? Are you good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, I love the green. No one's done color before. Whoa, the lifting is crazy, right? Yeah. Wow, the eyebrows make such a difference. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see the like the body go <laughs> like that. Okay, so we're gonna go take some photos and I'm gonna insert them here. Do you wanna actually share like what you shoot with? Uh, I have a Canon a ATD. ATD, you say? ATD. You said it better than I did. ATD. Okay, I have a Canon ATD and I normally use a 50 millimeter lens. lens. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm outside, I also like uh, 85, which makes like mm -hmm. a little bit more bokeh. Okay, I love how the photos turned out. Obviously, I haven't seen them edited yet, but we just went up on the roof, took the photos, and just even seeing them unedited, I think they turned out so cool. But this is, yeah, the final look. So I think I'm so happy she did like a color, a pop of color, because every other makeup artist I've done these videos with hasn't done color yet. The lifting stickers are actually off right now because they kind of came off in the sun. Those are just so you know, because I had no idea, those are mostly for photos to help like lift back. That's how if you see like on Instagram, those people with like really snatched <laughs> faces, they either have had a lot of work or they're probably using those, but that was so much fun. I just had such a good time chatting with them. If you are in Barcelona, Simi is awesome. She's just like a good person and fun to hang out with and love her work. So have her info down below. Let me know what you guys think. She did say a couple things. She said that she didn't notice, like she could have gone a little bit darker with my foundation afterwards because I do have some like bronze or tanner on. I've never had anyone do the faux freckles on me either. So that was different. So I'm glad she did like a few different things to switch it up. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you want to see this series continue and see these in other countries or other cities, let me know. Let me know where you wanna see actually. Like where would you be the most curious to see this video? What other city in the US and then what country would you wanna see the most? Let me know. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Uh, hello everybody. I'm from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You're doing good.